I look okay? You look great. What do you mean look? Do I look good? I'm looking. You're not looking. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I don't have my glasses, so I can't tell. We're gonna try the Targona coffee. I'm gonna be so hyper after this. Oh, that's really good, actually. So sweet. Yeah, I think it's really sweet. Yep. Do it look good? Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, let's start off with a relationship one. The first one, tips or advice for long-term relationships. <laughs> Try new foods. Try new food. Try new things. And then I think for us, when it started to get like boring, we tried each other's like hobbies. Like I got like I got you kind of into like K-pop, and then you were really into like keyboards. Like communication. We need to come back for more sausage. Yeah, she I don't know. <laughs> she just she said steal the sausage right out of my plate. Communication. Okay. Yeah, like you don't need to see each other every day. Um, you don't need to tell them everything every day all the time. Like leave space for actual communication. I think in the beginning I probably like over texted you like a lot, and 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 then it's like why don't you talk to me or like. Or like, like there's nothing to talk about because I just told them everything. But then like we tried out just saving like a list of things to talk about like at the end of the day, and then that was really good. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any from a guy's perspective? Well, I already said one. Try yeah. foods. I, no, babe, that's not good enough. Why? That's not good enough. I'm serious. Yeah. Like our whole thing was trying cafes for a few years, for like a year. And then we went to Korea and we tried all the cafes. <laughs> this is all the same thing. I think trying try cafes or like finding some sort of some sort of kind of restaurant that you like is oh, yeah. good. But what if they don't like eating out? Oh. I guess then you can do an activity. Um, and then we watch a lot of movies. Mm, that's true. Which is our thing. Like find something that never gets old, I think. Like movies, like we never get bored of watching movies. Yeah. Um but I know that's not the same for everyone. Why are your utensils are so small? <laughs> your fork is small too. Okay, next one. What keyboards do you have? I have two. Two. Which two? I have a uh, Rod Makara mm -hmm. and the KV67 that Chrissy uses. Yeah, do you have any coming? Uh huh. I ordered a Fuji 65. And I have a. What was it? KVG 65 Lite? 67, 67, Lite. 67 Lite coming. Tips and advice for portfolio writing for university applications. I feel like I want to say that things have changed a lot. Like yeah. I don't like I don't know what it's like now during our application year, which is like what like six years ago, five years ago. Um, I think a lot of, like everyone, everyone just emphasized like writing about your involvement. I would say. Don't be afraid to make yourself sound really impressive. Yeah, yeah. You gotta flex. You, yeah, you honestly have to like oversell yourself. If you do want people to proofread your writing, I would say don't ask too many. Yeah, don't get too many opinions. Yeah, don't. Yeah, like don't make it so that they change your entire like writing to not be you anymore. Because I think it's more important to show like who you are through writing. You know, Ryan's really good at writing, and I am not so that. What are you showing? Huh? What are you showing? What do you mean? In your writing. I'm showing my personality. But even like, I didn't really ask you that much to look over my app. Yeah. I don't think I asked you. I don't think you did. <laughs> I didn't ask him. Because <laughs> like, I just wanted to make sure that what I wrote reflected who I was. And so like, there's probably bad grammar in there. Change. <laughs> Um, what podcast are you currently listening to? I listen to League podcast. Yeah, he listens to League. Isn't there a dive for League yeah. too? And I also listen to dive podcast, but like the K-pop one. Mm, I yeah. watched the LCS one. I've been on a, some podcast that I can like link down below. Um, are you going to grad school? Post grad planning. Are we going to grad school, babe? No. No. Um, no plans yet because. I don't know. I think it wouldn't be bad to do it now. I just yeah. probably won't. Mm hmm I mean, for me, it's like, school is expensive. 
Yeah, school's expensive and I feel like I barely just survived university. I need a, a change up. I'm not gonna like put myself through another school. But I think if I did, I, I really want to go back to education mm -hmm. for like for a bit. Why you ask so fine, BB girl? Why? Thank you. Thank you. For me. Oh, right, right, yes. All right, best advice for your early 20s. I'm in my early 20s. Yeah, so what's your advice? But if I, I don't even have advice that I would follow to. Do you follow any advice? Sometimes. <laughs> like what? Yo, treat yourself. No, That's my advice. No, it's lit. You had a recent um, epiphany. Like you realized that you were only 22. Oh yeah. But that's not like, I don't know, that's just kind of stupid. Your early 20s is actually pretty young still. Yeah, remember that you're just chilling. Yeah. Like early 20s, I think is still pretty young. Like you don't have to have everything like figured out. Yeah, or you know, anything. <laughs> Which is us right now. <laughs> I think just enjoy your time, honestly. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Well, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, we're like 20, 27, 28. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna be in Vancouver. Ideally working. <laughs> Ideally. Ideally moved out. But actually, yeah. I don't know yeah. if that's Sorry. possible. Yeah, yeah I agree. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can have a dog. That's not me, <laughs> What the hell? How do you stay so motivated? Do you think I'm very motivated? You appear motivated for sure. Appear? Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I appear motivated, but I'm not... Like, I think I am a pretty motivated person, mm -hmm. but just not 24-7. Yeah, I don't think you have to be. Yeah. I don't really know, honestly. Yeah, Ryan's not really into that kind of stuff. Like every day he wakes up and does the same thing. Like it's like always it's always the same order. Like wake up, brush teeth, water, coffee, gaming, go to sleep. <laughs> Where are all the other steps? <laughs> but like you get the idea. It's the same every day. And he doesn't get bored of it. I think for me I get so motivated because I'm always changing my routines. Okay, advice you can give to college uni freshmen. Have fun. If I can say don't study, I'll say that, but you have to still study. Yeah, I would say join clubs, but I didn't join any clubs, so yeah. I can't be sure. That's learning, that's so it's real. learning from your mistakes. I would say the biggest thing in the beginning is trying to figure out how you like to study. Yeah, that's a huge one. When do you think you figured it out? Probably in like second or third year. Mm -hmm. So it's not like rushed, but you should try, try different ways, see what you like. How do you resolve arguments with your boyfriend, if any, and how do you feel after having an argument? How do you feel? How do I feel? I was the type to like, want to talk about it right away. Mm -hmm. And then like, I think usually Ryan doesn't want that. I don't know, what do you feel after we argue? Well, okay, one, we don't really argue that much. But is that because there's no conflicts or is it because we tend to talk it out before it gets to the arguing stage. I think more the latter. Yeah. But yeah, like it's changed. I used to be the type to just want to talk about it right away and address it as soon as possible. And now I'm like realizing like that's not like the only way I think. Like right now I want more space after we have some kind of conflict to just think it over. Because sometimes it might just be my own emotions that's like making everything go like blown out of scale like it's not even something of, like that's between us and so i like to like cool down first now and then we can talk about it <laughs> i see you uh -huh. what about you babe neither what about you most of the time i think i'm correct no you're not what actually yeah it's not that it's just that's what i think i mean i think most of the time it is because you're very logical and i'm very emotional but i think usually you just talk it just talk it through um, I don't think like oh yeah, don't think of arguments or any conflicts as like a bad thing. It doesn't have to be bad. If anything, it makes you closer afterwards. Um, and so don't be scared to talk about it. Communication. Wait, do you? How do you feel after having an argument? 
I mean, no one's gonna feel great after an argument. I mean, it, it like it feels bad, but I think mm -hmm. it's like you're working to have a stronger relationship in the future, right? And so you kind of have to get over all those little kinks and like knots because then the the future will be smoother. Fave Korean dramas of 2021 are hoping to watch. Um, I haven't been watching a lot, honestly. Um, I'm, I'm currently on my list is Doom at Your Service, Mouse because my parents said it was really good. Since I don't really know any on the top of my head, I'm just gonna list it here on Ryan's face for you guys. All right, embarrassing moments, and if you if you feel comfortable sharing, I think I always just like my embarrassing moments get like they just get locked up in this very deep corner of my brain, so I don't remember them. I think I have a lot where it's like it feels like it in the moment, mm -hmm. and then I just kind of forget. Yeah. Okay. What is your motto in life? Um, Christy said my motto is Happy Christy, Happy Ryan Yes um, I think mine for a while was Go with the flow But I feel like that's so like Overused now Like nobody knows what it means I don't have a lot of like internal Motivation and stuff that I Yeah, he to. just lives He just exists and life happens to him I think recently it's been a lot of like Keep life simple or like find beauty in the simplest things. Okay, tips on studying. I think this is the last one. It's a quick one. I don't think Ryan likes my studying style, but I just repeat things like I'll handwrite notes like 10 times, maybe not 10, like two or three. It helps me that I write things again and again and again. And so like for school, I do all digital notes and then when I get home, I handwrite them or I just retype the notes. I get a lot of information from reading textbooks, yeah. so usually I can just read the textbook. And then he like memorizes it already. I did it. I did it. Yay! Are you done? Are you full? I'm perfect. It's actually almost like my card is full. 